Hey all, good day and uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, this video is uh, brought to you by a question that was asked of me by one of my one of the channel subscribers, Paul, um, Paul Buckingham 7986. But um, I guess, Paul, your name is Paul. Um, so anyway, Paul asked a really interesting question. And the question is, um, when you combine two roots together, what file name does the root uh, um, hold? What file name does it contain? Is it the file name of the first root, or is it the file name of the second root? Which which bit of the two roots that you had add together? What in my root app does the file name actually keep? Well, the answer is neither. Um, I had to do a bit of digging myself on this one. So thanks, Paul. You got my old old grey cells moving. As I know, you hear this all the time from every other YouTuber. But please do subscribe, um, consider subscribing and do consider giving me a like, clicking the thumbs up because it does help with the algorithm. And I am trying. I've got 402 subscribers. I don't get paid any money from YouTube until I get to a thousand subscribers and I'm battling to get the numbers up. So if you could subscribe, I really would appreciate it. Thank you very much indeed. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Here I am, as you can see, in the uh, my root app, my root app, um, root lab. I'm using Google Chrome, and I am using a 2020 MacBook Intel version. I know a few of you have asked in the past. You might be using a different machine, but it's it's Google Chrome. It should be something reasonably similar. So let's get started and see what how this works and what happens. We'll start off with a a new root completely. So when I said to you either, uh, uh, neither, the file doesn't keep either name, it keeps the name of the root that you create. So I'm going to call this test root one for now. I'm going to leave it as private because I'm going to delete it afterwards anyway. So here is test root one and I'm going to go down and make test root one. So First thing is um, I could make a new route and add a bit manually make a new route and add a bit to it or I could just add two existing routes together. It makes no difference either way. I'm going to go and add two existing routes together that I already have saved. So I'm going to click on my hamburger menu. I've covered that in a video previously and I'm going to come down to where it says routes. And I'm going to click on the word add because that's what I want to do. As always, like in my last video, test root one is greyed out because that's what this file is called. So to give you an example of that, I'm going to come down to where it says root information and you'll see it's called test root one there. OK, as at the name that I just gave it a few minutes, a few moments ago, I'm going to come back down to roots and I'm going to go and add. Uh, I'm going to do uh, two Mark Davil motorcycles, which is where I had my MOT done uh, last Saturday. So I'm going to add that route and then I'm going to say um, add because I have to add it add it at the beginning because there was only one beginning so far and this is it and I'm going to have that in so that's my route in I, I could have just made a route whoops sorry uh, but that's the route that I'm going to be using I'm going to add to that route and now another route and remember that route was called mark davil um, to mark davil and I'm going to add another bit and I'm going to, so it was there and I'm going to do another one that says um, from Halfords, which is in the similar area back to where I live and it should join the two routes together. So I'm going to click on that one and I'm going to click add and you'll see now I'm going to add that to the uh, end of that route because I went that way around. And I'm going to click on merge and you'll see now it's now made me if I make this a little bit uh, bigger for us all to see that's made me that's joined the two roots together so I added those two root names together but if you go and have a look in uh, and there's nothing in here now because already they've already been added if you go and have a look in the root information it's retained the original root um, name that I created so to answer your question Paul what name does it keep of each of the two routes? Again, it doesn't keep either name. It keeps the name 
it being my root app by the way um, my root app keeps the name of the route that you originally made so for example now if i go along to my all my all of my routes which i've got saved uh, as a shortcut um, so there's my test route one right there um, and if i click on it it will be the two routes added together that we just made um, a few moments ago and it's still called the same name so there you go i hope that helps it's a short video today thanks very much for watching and uh, like i said please do like and subscribe to my to this video and all my videos for that matter and i will look forward to seeing you in the next video which is also dedicated to paul because paul asked me two questions and the next video will be how to get your route from my root app onto your garmin device and in my particular case and in paul's particular case it's going to be the garmin uh, zumo xt there is a very very easy way to do it or there's a very long-winded and compl complicated way to do it and i'll be covering the easy way the way i do it in the next video and then the video after that one i've forgotten what that one's going to be i've got it written down somewhere but oh yes It'll be about the MyRoot app navigation app, which is um, not going to be, a, at the moment, the way I see it, it's not going to be a particularly glowing video. So subscribe and you'll get a notification of when I post that video in the uh, YouTube channel. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Please ride safely and uh, long live the blockchain. Bye for now.